how it's made on today's show. Salad time. Oh my, oh my god. Here's a solid tire. It's it's a big one. And the thing I like about solid tires is you can you can depend on them. It's made of rubber. You you know what it's for. It is a solid solid tire. And it's not full of air. Uh, we've been getting the progress by slivering the rubber into a machine. You can see it, it's melting slightly, which turns it into this large slug of a pipe, which is then turned to goo, ready for use in the goo machine. The goo is then spinned around in the rolling machine and uh, we're prepared into soot by Neil here. Now Neil is a nice man, I, I've met him on twice an occasion. He does this every day of his life for the last 40 years. And he never tires. <laughs> Here's the soot. It's being prepared to be into tires. Now the, the, the soot is used to strengthen the tires because they're, they're solid tires. They can't rely on air. They must rely on soot. Here is the alloys being sprayed with liquid alloy. He like he, sp he sprays them thoroughly, even after forty years. He never he never slacks on the job. That chain was important as well. The chain is for emergencies. Yes. It would yank him out of the factory. It's only one man that operates this entire factory. Yes, Neil. Neil. He's, a b he's a busy man. Here is the goo being applied to the wheels. Oh, wow! Oh, that's awesome. Which is now rubber, the goo rubber. The goo rubber with soot. Yes. You see the soot. You didn't see the soot being added, but the soot has done all all this. The soot made this possible. Yes. Now here's the spinnings of it, the rubber. It spins for a while, and then oh, and then he uses the chain to lift it to a higher plane. Now he's adding more terrain to the rubber. The the machine was doing it automatically, but. Sometimes he just fancies doing it manually, you know. It's, it's just... You get a much better crisp job when you do it the manual way. He, he, he can charge more, but in these economic times, not everyone wants a handmade tire. So he doesn't always do it like this. It's, it's, it's up to him. Well, this is actually a racing tire, this one. Oh, yes. Possibly for Nigel Mansell himself. You can see the racing texture there. And here's the brass that goes in the center of the tires. He's spraying it now with a special spray. Yes, it's it's like a cake tin. Some people call it the cake tin. I prefer to call it the tire tin. <laughs> oh yeah, now he's applying the branding. The branding, the branding can be Michelin. It can be Webb. It can be Swanson any of these three brands. He works for them all and he likes them all equally. He, put, he puts this steel into the Schlammer. The Schlammer is incredible. Watch this. It, it basically just slams away and creates wait for it, it creates a tire. A solid tire. It's basically baked the tire into the... because it was like a cake tin but for tires and that's exactly what it's made. It's made a cake. He's rolling the cake away now. He's gonna put it on top of that similar looking yellow tire. And this pole you can see slides slowly through. Then they rotate away into the into the dreams and homes of many pleased tire owners. Here is the oven where they are baking huge tires <laughs> for use on huge vehicles. Such as monster trucks and monster tractors. They look like they are made of duct tape, but they are actually made of extremely vibrant polyfibers and wood. And that is the rubber tires created.
Enjoy your tires.